I once had a very full-on dream about getting married. <laughs> exactly how I felt. Do uh, you have a wife? No, this is the problem. Let's get one. Listen, man, it's difficult. <laughs> What is love? Disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. Do you know what love is? Yeah. What is love? Um. Baby, don't hurt. <laughs> don't hurt me. No more. You're the first kid that's done that. Love is something you can't find, like, just in open air, yeah. if you just look everywhere and then you just see someone that you like, they might not like you, that's not proper love. That's um, unrequited love. It's the worst kind of love. What should you say if someone tells you that they love you, but you don't love them? Well, just walk, walk away from them, just walk yeah, away. Yeah, that's what I did. Exactly what I did. What, you just walk away? And, and, and just say bye, sarcastically. So, <laughs> what? Bye. I'm a girl. So I walk up. Hi guys. Um, I'm a girl. Um, I'd very much like to marry either of you. <laughs> Will you marry me? Um. Well, I guess you don't look that terrible. Thank you. Um. But you don't look very much like a girl, Mr. Howard. Um. I did not in love. You are really. Who are you in love with? <laughs> Two boys. Two boys? Why not? It's the 90s. Well, I used to be with someone at school, mm -hmm. but now um, it was in um, uh, a teacher's class and we used to in a little hole and do it. And... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't that. It's fine, um, it's fine. <laughs> um, but then they said it was restricted, so then we couldn't meet anymore, and then it just stopped. <laughs> What advice would you give somebody else? <laughs> um, not do it where people can see you, and also not in front of anyone. I was guess that's really good advice. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. A dolphin can fly. Polar bears can die. How do you think this is going to make the girl feel when she reads this poem? Weird. Yeah. Uh, do you know what Valentine's Day is? It's like there is all the love in the air. Yeah. It's a day when people like celebrate love. That's right. You can say nice words. You can you can give a kiss. You can do a hug. What if you like a surprise? That's right. Or give her a big show. A big show. <laughs> If I wanted to uh, make a girl fall in love with me, how should I do that? Um, you, you just you keep you, on following her around. You you just you you hold her hand and kiss her on the hand. No, just groove. Just groove. <laughs> oh, okay. Like what does groove mean? Well, I've got to go up to a girl and groove. Like the song I have to sing. Yeah, you do. What is this song? Like let's 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 practice the song so that I can when I go back to England. Great. Great. You're the best you singer are the best in the world. And you're the greatest. You're the greatest. You're the greatest of all. You're the best girl. Yes. That's it. If I wanted to impress a girl, give me some tips, some advice. Strong. Get strong. Yeah, or le at least hold a little chicken up in the air. <laughs> yes, 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 I, I like that. So I just walk up to a girl and go, you right? You ever see strength like me? <laughs> if a girl likes you and you like them, yeah. You when you go on your phone, you walk. You walk. So I have to And like then a, you actually... Okay, let's, let's do it. Like, oh, I uh, knock into her. Yes. Hey, so I was so sorry about that. Bang your head. You oh, okay. Head butt the head. And you both say... You lift them up and say, hi. Hey, sorry about headbutting you. And she'll say, hi. She says, hi, yeah. Sorry, are you OK? Let me get your phone. And then you both pick up your phone. <laughs> sorry. Can I take you out to dinner? 
<laughs> so, so I head for a go and then say, listen, let's have a wag at my mum. But what about she likes friction? Because I like friction. I can't ask whether she likes I, friction first. I, I, this no, is I, think, I think it means like real stuff that makes sure it's actual real, like oh. everything you tell her. Is that what you meant? <laughs> you Do you know where I met my girlfriend, my wife, for the first time? Here. At a school. <laughs> a train accident. At a train accident. If you could marry anybody in the world, who would you marry? This might be stupid, but my cat. <laughs> your cat? You're going to marry your cat? No, my cat licks me every day. Well, you know. <laughs> A chef, because I love cooking, and I also love eating. That's a really good person, so a chef, because then they're going to love you. They're going to make you amazing dishes every morning. You're going to wake up and they're like, I prepared for you, you know. Yeah, and butter and toast. Yeah, they probably just usually up and get more than butter and toast, don't they, if they're a chef. Would you ever want to get married? Um, yeah, because I have a boyfriend. So do I. I have a girlfriend. We've been together, like, nearly two years. Flipping out. How old are you? Seven. Jesus. I've only been together with him um, two days. OK. <laughs> Do you think you could last the week, or...? Yeah. Would you like to go on a stag do? I don't know what that is. Is, that, is it like Scooby-Doo or something? It's a stag do. It's before you get married, the men go on one last holiday. What? Yeah. <laughs> Where would you go for a stag do? I would go to like, like a, like a, like, like um, some close to a, like somewhere between north and west. Okay, Birmingham. Yeah. See if you can guess where I proposed and what activity was I about to do. Was you about to eat out of a toilet? I wasn't about to eat out of a toilet. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, that, that's the look you'd get. Any tips for a happy marriage? I don't want to answer that question because I don't like love. She's not comfortable with marriage. You're not comfortable with marriage? I want to be an independent okay. lady. <laughs> um, what if you met a man who also wanted to be an independent man towards I'll love? I'll say, get off my lawn. <laughs> have you got any tips for a successful marriage? Yeah, I have. Because I've been learning about it. Okay. Instead of, like, buying, buying your children's beds, you, if you have any carpets, you can, like, roll it up. You can, like, like... I'm not sure how to explain Ro it. Roll your child up yeah. in the carpet? Yeah. So, if you, the key to a successful marriage, if you have children, roll them up in the carpet. What books have you been reading on marriage? Because I've never heard of that as a tip. <laughs> have you got any tips for marriage? No. We're both nine. <laughs>